She gently removes the lining of her long dress and undies the corseted waist. The Swiss girl was sold by her father to the English nobleman behind her for 500 pounds for three days. If she succeeded in conceiving the child within three days, she will get a huge sum of money to pay off her father's debt. But Sophie must do this process, not to invest a single bit of emotion, and she must keep it a secret afterwards and never see the baby. Charlie arranged the first meeting in a hotel. He made it a point not to be seen entering the room at the same time. They knew it was just a deal, one for the money, one for the baby. They completed their work mechanically, like to Cox. Early the next morning, Charlie finds Sophie alone. He told her that he was doing it for the same reason she was. Charlie is an English aristocrat, and his family is forcing him to carry on the family line. But his wife had fallen off a horse 10 years ago and become a vegetable. So he had to find a surrogate. It seems they both found a reason for this absurdity. So on the second night, Sophie is clearly more involved than last night. 